Prince Harry has resorted to playground tactics in his spat with the royal family, according to a royal insider. Netflix released the trailer for his and Meghan Markle's docuseries titled Harry and Meghan, which is set to release on December the 8th. It also came amid the ongoing race row at Buckingham Palace, which saw the resignation of the late Queen's lady-in-waiting, Lady Susan Hussey, after she was accused of being racially insulting to Ngozi Falani, founder of domestic abuse charity Sister Space, at a royal event. One insider said it was no surprise the trailer for Harry and Meghan's £88 million series came when it did. They said, you could have bet your house on the fact this promo was going to come out. They've deliberately gatecrashed the Boston trip and taken advantage of an external situation for their own agenda. There's no other way to put it. Harry is well aware how important it is to not overshadow the work of other members of the family, yet this is exactly the type of playground tactics being employed here. On Twitter, there are suspicions that Marlene, aka Mosey, was wearing a recording device and her target was Queen Camilla but Camilla didn't say anything that could be misconstrued as racist or offensive. There's a video clip on the Daily Mail article where she seems to be happily conversing with Queen Camilla. Next, there's a script of a racial interrogation or conversation with an old lady who just happened to be Prince William's godmother and who said that she didn't think the Harkles marriage would last. Social media tore Mosey apart for planning royal race row. Elizabeth on Twitter commented, I will never forget for my whole life how Ngozi treated me, how she made me feel. It's worse than any other professional or charity worker. I was so shocked. I needed help and she left me worse off. I was attacked, went into a refuge with her not helping me because I have privilege. The second criticised, I'm a South African and in South Africa there are nine indigenous tribes. Just by looking at me you won't be able to tell which tribe I'm from even though I'm black. You'd literally have to ask me in order to know. I've been asked by many white people which tribe I belong to, and I've never once been offended. Even black people ask each other these questions. It's normal. Mosey Falani is just a bought race baiter who knows next to nothing about the African culture. Like, girl, not even Africans dress the way you dress and call it African attire. The whole thing is so annoying because it's been blown out of proportion by the permanently offended. Canela Citadel said, So Marlene Headley, a black British liar, appropriated a Nigerian name and culture, Ngozi Falani, then got upset because Lady Hussey asked her where she was from and she couldn't answer since she was appropriating African culture. She's a lying race baiter. In the past 48 hours, Harry and Meg sent a race baiter to Buckingham Palace to start a racism row. Had an ex-MI5 agent claim they're a victim, released an Invictus and Netflix trailer, Hell, Meg even released the face of her son, yet without any gimmicks, the Waleses still have the spotlight. The palace race rows continue to rumble on after Nazir Afsal, a former chief crown prosecutor for the North West, tweeted, I was at the palace reception at which Lady Susan questioned the heritage of Mosey Falani. She only asked me my heritage once and seemed to accept the answer. Manchester, currently.